section. So there are Adams from Hong Kong QAA, and then also Leo, the CTO of uh, B Novelty. And B Novelty yep. is one of the uh, the the main organizer of this event. I'm sure quite a lot of you have uh, recognized if you have joined the main stage of this morning. So I think in terms of uh, presentation, each one of us will take around seven minutes of present and we will speak on our part. So I think now let me speak about how Hong Kong STV is going to um, support the uh, open banking services. Then uh, Adam will take turn to speak on his part and then Leo will uh, speak on his part on how be novelty to support. So now let me try to share my screen to you and start my presentation. Let me try to share. And then I will hide the bar. So um okay, so I uh, a very quick introductions of uh, myself that um, I cover fintech in uh, Hong Kong STP and then the, my major role is on working with external organization um, on promoting technology solution adoption. Um, so uh, my background is mainly from banking industry, insurance industry, and then I spent few years in a management consulting firm and now I'm very honored that to be able to take this part in Hong Kong science part. And today's section mainly is to, uh, we wanna talk about a new program uh, named as OpenX. OpenX mean open for excellence, uh, open innovation for excellence standard. This program actually serving a dual process. Uh, how, how it's different from the other was that we have a heavy emphasis in terms of the quality. Um, and why quality is important here, it was because of the open banking uh, innovation expand that I think when a third party services provider, they need to work with the um, banking. Um, one of the regulatory requirements is that they need to pass certain assessment criteria, right? So um, in terms of uh, running program, I think um, this could be a first program that Sanka is rolling out, putting a very heavier emphasis uh, in terms of the qualification of our park company. So, um, of course, at the same time, we also want to help our park company to find POC project opportunities. And then um, the program that we are rolling out actually uh, serving two major groups of uh, people. I think the first group of people, of course, will be the startup, uh, the more mature the company. Um, and then we will also at the same time serving the fintech uh, segment and also um, some non fintech company, but they are trying to uh, serve, uh, they use their technology of data, AI digital, but happen to serve the financial services. And the last bit will be the financial services group. Um, I give you an example here will be some company who are operating the uh, food ordering platform, but somehow they are involved in the payment processes. So they will also be in scope of this program that we will try to serve. And then the other bit, uh, of course, will be the solution buyer that uh, from the corporate banking industry, financial industry, that means covering the insurance group. And also the other group that uh, they are not financial company, but uh, happen to be involved in the financial services like payment and others. And then this OpenX program, we will try to open the registration page starting on 1st of uh, November. So we are recruiting um, company uh, in Hong Kong and of course, firstly from Science Park to register um, their interest to this program. And uh, medically, we will expand a bit of the registration for some advanced company from the overseas. And then of course, they will just need to provide us uh, basic information. And also more importantly, we wanted to know for those uh, tech company, who are their targeting users, whether they target B2C, B2B, 
um, and what are their markets that like uh, which uh, team in the banking they are interested to work with, who are they targeting, whether it's retail banking, whether it's corporate banking, etc. And also the type of collaboration like um, whether your collaboration happen, happen within the API and what types of uh, exchange you are looking at so that the main purpose of this is for us to help you to find your potential uh, uh, corporate who can adopt your solution. And the last bit of this of registration, we will like to know your strongest attribute or the best practices you think you have that um, uh, can show your readiness for open banking collaborations. So that will be the emphasis of the qualification from our program. And then throughout the program run, what we will do for the startup and also for the interested uh, banking team, insurance team, or the corporate team will be, we will run a series of uh, workshops together with our partners. Something like the workshop on prototyping of use cases, and secondly, the certification workshop, I think which is a very important point in this program will be as because we are trying to certify those tech company registered in this program for certain aspects, like whether they have good confidentiality management, how do they handle the customer complaint, because at the end of the day, you need to work with the banks, right? Um, so you need to pass through certain certification or qualification to ensure when you're working with the bank or the other teams that uh, you both stay regulatory compliant. And the last bit of the workshops will be the collaboration types of workshop that we will include or invite uh, different startup, different teams from the banking um, to find out what are the areas that they can collaborate on. And then we have some um, design that they, it will be the community day. That means every member in the program can meet each other and also the in-house day. In-house day will be some um, com activities that we run at the corporate, uh, like at the bank itself. So it will be a closed door in-house thing. And the other thing will be the information section that we have to offer from enterprise uh, partner. So we are trying to cover the end-to-end uh, needs of both startup and also the corporate team. The last thing I want to emphasize on the Open X program will be we want to help you highlight the successful showcase uh, of both startup and the team successfully adopting or exploring the opportunity uh, within the program. So at the end of the program, we will try to share the successful story uh, when they have uh, finished the, the, the program run. So either we will have the award for them on the successful story or we will recognize them as the best practice. Um, so the emphasis of the program is also to recognize um, the area that you have the strength at and you can become the best practices for the others to take reference on. So quickly, uh, I'm going to wrap up my presentation would be some key days you may be interested if you're you are interested to participate in our Open X program. So today is the first day we are at, uh, we announced this program. So this is announced in this section and also the uh, earlier section uh, at the main stage that um, our head of ICT and electronics customer Peter Yuan, um, he has also announced this program that we are going to roll out together with other banking uh, executive. And then the uh, 1st of November, we are going to roll out the official open for registration. And then in mid of November, we will try to do a cutoff of uh, registration. In December, January, February, we will run the uh, program day, the workshop series in progress. And then in March, we are looking to have the first cutoff of the result and also successful story. Last bit of the program will be, it will be supported by different partner in the program, uh, like the qualification bit, which is the most important aspect of this program. So you will see Adam from Hong Kong QA will present later on, on what their scheme is about, uh, so that the teams from banking can understand um, if company are certified, uh, what does it mean? Uh, what area they have been tested, assessed, 
And then the other one would be technology um, company like Benovity who has the platform and they can offer the training consultations to company who has participated. And also uh, on technology, we will also invite the enterprise uh, like Amazon to join on board. For the community, of course, it will mean we invited different members from the bank, from startup uh, within, of course, the, the startup within the Hong Kong STB will be part of it. Uh, but we are at the same time also reaching out to look for more advanced example from the overseas. Uh, the last bit will be the advisory group. So we will uh, work with the regulators on this uh, open X program. So last bit of this will be here is a little bit of the quick wheel on how we, we will run. So uh, we have different forums done in June, in October, and then in next three months, we are going to roll out this program. Um, if you are interested, you can register to get the update from us on what we are doing in the community and also um, the OpenX program. So I should pass the time to Adam right now. Thank you, Kerry. Um, let me show my slide. Yeah, and I will can need you, to stop, stop my yeah, can you see my slide? Yes, I can, can you see, see you. Slide? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kerry. Uh, thank you very much for Hong Kong Science Park um, invitation. I'm so pleased to give a short sharing on behalf of Hong Kong Quality Assurance Agents regarding the uh, Open API Assurance Scheme at today uh, API days. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, here's my little background and my content as well. I'm Adams, Adams Wong, um, Senior Business Manager from Hong Kong Quality Assurance Agents, um, which is a non-profit uh, distributing organization established by the Hong Kong government in 30 years, 30 years ago. HAKA is a leading professional conformity assessment service provider and a standard body for both private and public organizations. So please feel free uh, to connect me through the LinkedIn and drop me a message. You may wonder why XJQA pop up in API days, as XJQA is a, a strategic partner of Science Park, and we signed the MOU in 2016, which mutually agreed to support Hong Kong startup and innovation, which including the FinTech and API. In this connection, Hong Kong XJQA leverage our strength to develop an assurance scheme to support the FinTech and API companies on their information and cybersecurity development, as well as co-create a fintech community to work excellence in Hong Kong. As mentioned just now, both parties signed the MOU in 2016 and developed a, a dedicated scheme um, startup registration which support startup to enhance the performance on quality, financial, and information performance. Um, through regular review, we recognize need uh, of improving information and cybersecurity. Also, Hong, Hong Kong uh, Monetary Authority published the Open API Phase 2 Common Baseline for financial sector. So we have incorporated um, the requirement of the Common Baseline to revamp the start registration to be a start plus registration. Meanwhile, we also are developing a certification scheme which are more dedicated on the FinTech and Open API aspect. As we have solid experience a very good track record on assessments with accumulate 30 years of conformity assessment experience as well as standard development. That's why we are now collaborating with Hong Kong Science Park for the Open for Excellent campaign and providing assessment service to both Jekyll and Hansen Bank to review their TSP performance on information and cybersecurity management. So to uphold a just work of scheme with high credibility. Here are the cruises that we have gone through. Usually, we will conduct an in-depth literature review, document review, with cost tracking relevant international standards and benchmarking development guidelines, good practices, as well as applicable law and regulations. Then we will approach uh, relevant stakeholders for consultation with checking their comments, whether it is practical uh, or not to our scheme, to make sure the requirement are this bit not to lose or stringent, as well as to get their endorsement to the scheme. And then we will do a pilot test to check out any loophole of the scheme and fine tune it if necessary. Then we will form a technical committee, which usually from the professional field, practitioner, 
uh, to endorse the scheme before official launch. Here is some more detail about the international standard that we have referenced, such as the ISO 9001 for quality management system, the ISO 22301 business continuity management system, and the ISO 27001 information security management system. Also, we have referenced the phase two common baseline, which published by the Hong Kong Association of Banks, and also the personal data privacy ordinance. For the stakeholder, we have engaged the banks, incubators, regulators, startups, um, technical service providers for consultation to have their wills and comment. Here is a close look about the Asuan scheme scope. There are seven core aspects with some of the expected record to be demonstrated. The first one will be the uh, technology risk management and the cyber security. We expect that uh, the TSP able to demonstrate the testing uh, review records, vulnerability assessment reports, uh, encryption measures, and also the appointment of the um, responsible persons, and then the general risk management. So uh, we are expected that the TSP can provide the relevant policy procedure and also they have a list of the relevant uh, legal regulatory that they have identified. And then for the data protection, the data subject um, consensus record and also the notification record are expected. And also the personal information collection statement um, provide the process of the data are also expected. And then the customer care, um, business practice and campaign handling, uh, we expect that the uh, TSP provided training to their staff and maintain the training record. And also, they do the regular uh, uh, website and app scanning. And then they have a campaign handling procedure, investigation log. And also, for the outsourcing, if you have a partner outside to provide the service to your client, so we expect that you have the vendor management procedure, um, also the selection and evaluation to, uh, record, and also so the list of the subcontractor and also the vendor list for checking. And the business continu continuity management, we expect that you have a, a relevant plan in case there's any uh, business crisis and, and, and to stop your business, business so that you can recover uh, uh, ASAP and also the investigation law. The last but not least is about the uh, confidential management. We will expect that you have um, routine about the NDA practices and also the relevant of the confidential in your core of content so that you you and your colleagues how to deal with it. And these all about uh, the expected record, I believe um, this requirement shall make no surprise to you because these are the common requirements and the expect, expected norms for banks and your client. So highly likely um, these practices are already in place of your organization. So through our consultation with stakeholders and pilot one of the scheme, we have concluded uh, this scheme can help the TSP to achieve first, get familiar with the bank's requirement and expect a loan so that you get start to build up your own information security measure. And the second, you could spot the loophole of your system and make improvement if any. But once you get through the assessment with being certified, and this will be a very uh, powerful and strong supporting document to demonstrate uh, that you have a good system in place um, to your client or to banks so that they have more confidence to you and you both can focus on the business deal. From our past experience, having an assessment report or a, a certific certificate from the third party could greatly reduce the time in getting class and approval from your client uh, compliance team. That this is the goal that we would like to achieve for helping the startup and the TSP to secure the opportunity at business, as well as together with the science park and other stakeholders to create co-create the fintech community. Um, that's the end of my today's sharing. If there was any questions from the floor, please feel free, feel free to drop me an email or give me a call. And now I would like to pass the floor back to Kathy. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Can you see my screen? Yes, we can see your screen. Okay. Bring a minute. Okay. Okay. So thank you, Adam, and thank you, Kathy. 
So um, I'm Leo. I'm the um, I'm the GM of the Novelty, and um, uh, in order to support Hong Kong Science Park Open Excellence Program, the Novelty has launched an API technology support scheme. Um, and on my agenda, in my agenda, I will spend a few minutes to introduce about the Novelty and uh, how we can help Science Park company with our scheme. There is a few things I want to highlight for my company. Our company focusing on API platform technology and our enterprise client covering different areas such as bank, insurance, um, restaurant group, and many others. We have community partners from over six vertical. We actively running the API community in Hong Kong. And today we are the lead organizer of this event. Over the past two years, we worked closely with Hong Kong Science Park on various open API initiatives, including API economy training program, API startup registration scheme, and data studio, FinTech API Plato, and HAMAFK uh, masterclass. As said by uh, Kathy and, and Adam, with the alliance of this work group, actually we aim to co-create the API ecosystem of Hong Kong, in which the novelty is the technology enabler and community. And with HAQAA registration support, industry partner would be have a much more confident when adopting API solution from the community, such as a science part startup. So under the Open X program, the novelty will support these three areas, including provide API, TSP training, assessment support, and once the TSP is ready, we also have API platform to support them to go to market. For the training, a TSP could enjoy the training of these four aspects. They are API design thinking, rapid API prototyping. They will know how to discover different API use case, and they will also understand the common baseline from the banking sectors and to build up the relevant uh, awareness. On assessment support, if the TSP has a clearly identified issue, we could reach, they could reach us in the technical clinic section. If not, they could arrange gap analysis and risk assessment together in order to help them to identify the issue. And we will also support TSP to go through the assessment process all the way. Under the support scheme, if the TSP is ready, but but they do if they do not have their infrastructure, we will offer a free onboarding services, which include an API management infrastructure, HAQA registration, and we already have various API partner already running in that platform. This is the overall um, picture of an API business, you can say, or uh, our API platform. Um, usually, when we are doing business, there will be a buy side and, and, and sell side. So uh, in, the buy, uh, uh, in the provider side, so usually they will have three types of uh, services include, for example, data, business logic, or AI. With the use of our API platform, what we call it the Open API Hub, the API provider could enjoy the connectivity, protection, and monetization of their API services effectively with the platform. 
And on the other hand, with the consumer side, and we will help them to discover good API, do their onboarding, and help them to manage the API and, uh, and having analytics. So this is uh, my presentation, and I hope uh, uh, all our TSP could uh, join our program, and we will be seeing you in the future in the training section. And thank you, everyone. And I will pass my time to Kathy. Okay, thank you, Leo. So um, I think you, you will stop the screen sharing when wrapping up. So okay. um, I think, yes, thank you everyone for joining this section. Um, I, we, we have overrun a bit of our section, but I think it's fine because uh, we are going to have a break from now. And then our next section will start on 145, which is Ensign from Fun Park will presenting on SME lending. And uh, as we said on the Open X program, Open Innovation for Excellent Standard, the first time we put a emphasis on the standard quality of um, uh, company. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Leo, feel free to reach out to Adam uh, or me on um, how we can support you on the API expect. And then during the meantime, we expect to see you guys participating in the program on 1st of November, and we will share a bit more. And if you want to get the update, you can uh, register at the uh, link that I just post up there or drops email to any one of us. So thank you for attending the section. And thank you, Leo. Thank you, Adam, for um, joining. We look forward to working with you both on the OpenX. Thank you very much. Thank you. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye.